again. For once I'm here talking about something else than a wrap up. Imagine that. Uh, I'm actually going to talk about um, Worldcon or twen uh, Dublin 2019 as it's also known as or more officially known as. Um, and well, surprise, surprise, it took place in Dublin this time. Uh, I have been to Worldcon once before uh, in Helsinki two years ago, and that was my, <coughs> excuse me, uh, my very first Worldcon. Uh, so um, I was maybe a little bit more prepared this time, I guess. Though how prepared I was, mm, who knows? <coughs> excuse me. Uh, I think I've breathed in some something or something or something 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 anyway so the official dates for the world con was 15th to 19th of august it was like yes yeah, thursday to uh, to uh monday uh we actually arrived in dublin uh the monday uh before the world con started so we were able to actually um register uh, and get our badge uh, on the mon on Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday. Yeah, it was Tuesday. Um, see, I'm a bit... How do you say? My head is a little bit a uh, mess. I'm still quite tired, uh, though a lot better uh, on the Tuesday after the World Con, we were actually heading home on the Wednesday and I was really, really grateful that we were not leaving either Monday or Tuesday because I think I would have been just dead or something. Uh, so uh, we left on the Wednesday, well, we got home on Wednesday, this last Wednesday. Anyway, uh, let's actually talk about what I'm going to talk about. So. Thursday, uh, I went to the first panel. Um, um, I don't go to Worldcon to attend a whole lot of panels and program items because it's not really doable. Uh, I mean, this Worldcon there were like almost 7,000 participants. Uh, Helsinki was larger, more people. But that would also mean that even though like the program was huge, I mean, Enormous, so much to do and so much you could do. Uh, even so, um, at least I'm not able to do like a lot of panels and program items. It's just not doable for me. Uh, so if I do one or two program items every day, I'm actually quite happy. And also, I get to see a lot of friends, which is really nice. Uh, um, over the years, uh, I've been to quite a few Norwegian cons previously, but a few years ago I started to at attend uh, uh, cons outside of Norway. Um, and actually lately there hasn't been all that many cons in Oslo that I have attended. Uh, last time was a couple of years ago. And last year I didn't know about the a Norcon until like uh, just a few days before it was actually happening and I worked so I wasn't able to go anyway so so it's it's really good to see friends and meet up with people and that's awesome and I really enjoy it especially sitting in the con bar drinking beer and chatting to people that I don't see very often and that is so lovely um, so I must say that with all the panels and being social, for me as an introvert, it's really draining. So after like five days of such things, I'm utterly exhausted, wiped up. Anyway, so the first panel I attended was on Thursday, and it was writing from a non-Western, from uh, writing from non-Western cultures, and that was quite interesting. Um, and, uh, of course, it's kind of limited, um, because there's just, like, so many panelists and just so many countries, um, uh, it, 
it was quite good. Um, so um, uh, the participant was Tasha Shruti. I think it's pronounced Sri Shruti. Mm, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, she has an English Indian background, I think. Um, so she's both like British and Indian. And uh, uh, Vida Cruz uh, from Malaysia. No, sorry, Philippines. Sorry, bad memory. Uh, and uh, Yasser Bahyad from. Sorry, uh, Saudi Arab Arabia. Is that correct? I'm I'm not very good at these things, at re as in remembering. <laughs> I know where the countries are, but remembering things. And there was also supposed to be a N Nigerian person on the panel. Uh, however, I'm not sure if you are aware of this, but none of the Nigerian participants for Worldcon got a visa in time, which is like scandalous. Uh, if you apply for a visa 10 months in ahead, you would actually think you would get a reply. And I think it would actually be better to get like a refusal than actually not getting an answer. So that is kind of a little bit of a scandal. But yeah, it was really interesting. Um, and then after that, I got uh, went to get some um, signatures or uh, some autographs. I got book signed, which was actually Tasha Shuri. Um, and I am really, really looking forward to reading that book. Um, I'm not going to say a lot about it, but I will actually mention it in my book haul. Yes, there is a book haul coming up. Um, because uh, I bought some books. Surprise, surprise. So there will be a like Dublin uh, book haul thing. Um, but I'm not going to go into details about that now. And then I went to a panel. It was my, like my first proper queuing an hour ahead panel. Uh, and mainly I went to that panel because I absolutely adore Emma Newman. Uh, so this was a panel with Tanya DePass, Emma Newman, Simon R. Green and Gordon van Gelder um, uh, as a moderator. The last one is the moderator. Uh, and it was a really good panel in many ways. Um, yeah. Uh, mainly because I think Tanya DePass and Emma Newman did a great job. And they kind of contributed to a lot of good stuff to that panel. So that was the Thursday and that was pretty much uh, what I did. Uh, and then on Friday I went to a panel uh, that was short fiction of 2018. 18, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, where they talked about short stories and short fiction uh, of the past year. Uh, a little bit about thoughts around it. Uh, it the, the panel was mostly uh, publishers and editors of uh, short stories and for, short fiction. Um, though quite white, quite middle-aged, so that was a bit of a d disappointment. And uh, they talked about how they were kind of interesting in things that are different. So, uh, but I'm not sure if they convinced me, to be honest. Um, and then I went to another book signing and I got my uh, books by Mary Robinette Kowal signed, which I was thrilled about. Uh, I was really hoping for Mary Robinette Kowal to win the Hugos for best novel. Uh, I read Calculating uh, Calculating Stars. That was my favorite of the Hugo nominees. 
Uh, I also got my book signed by Laura Lam. Uh, I bought a book by her um, uh, last summer in Sweden when we went to Malmö and went to, went to the science fiction bookshop. And then I managed to sneak <laughs> into a panel that fortunately wasn't full because it started at the same time as the signing. So I managed to get in slightly before <clears throat> to get my... to get like um, to watch the panel. Uh, it was a really, really good on voices panel, um, on voices in SFF literature, uh, and the moderator moderator was uh, Avery Delaney. Uh, they are a diverse book blogger. Uh, has a really good, really, really good blog. I'm going to link uh, their blog down there, <laughs> as they say. And it was also here on my app. It says Corinne Davis and Shaq Appleby. Uh, there was also one more person on that that panel. So I don't understand why it's not listed. That's a pity. So that was what I attended that day. It was all in the morning and the rest of the day I spent like in the bar and talking to people and going out to eat and all these other fun stuff that you do at Worldcon. It was one of the, my, the, my favorite panels was actually the Voices. I, in general, really enjoy the, the um, own Voices stuff. So, uh, Saturday, it was like the 17th of August, uh, I went to a panel on called Rural Pagans Haunted Forests Folk Horror Revival, which was basically a panel on British and American folk horror. And though it's interesting, I'm not saying it's not interesting, though it's very British and very American. I wished that they have had picked others as well from that panel because there's like lots of other people from other parts of the world at Worldcon. Um, so it will be like, I mean, just like the whole Nordic part of, of Europe has their own folk horror uh, very present. So um, I, I for for my sake, love the Norwegian, me being Norwegian, I love the Norwegian uh, folk horror um, film called Tala, and it can actually be found, I think, still, maybe, with English subtitles. It's a really good film, but there would also be, like, you could get some from someone from China or Japan or, you know, Malaysia or not Nigeria, obviously. But maybe some other country, not Anglo. And when I say Anglo, it's not only English or Britain. Uh, where by Anglo, I mean English-speaking countries. Uh, that has something in common like Britain, Ireland, South Africa, Australia and America. Uh, anyways, and then there were more book signings. I got to get books signed by the brilliant, brilliant Emma Newman. She's so lovely. Uh, and yeah, and I got to kind of hang out with people as well. Uh, and then uh, in the evening, I went to a panel called in the background class in uh, YA fiction that was also really really interesting one also one of my favorites panel uh, so that was that was very interesting and about how how class is portrayed in fiction and thoughts around that and how you kind of are affected um, Probably both as a writer and as a reader uh, by your background. So it was a really, really interesting panel. And then on Sunday, <laughs> I see that the only thing I actually attended, like for program items, was it's all gone to shit. Gridmark world building. And it was like an early panel. 
uh, and it started at 10. It was in a really small room, unfortunately. There were like a huge queue really early on. So we were there really early and got in. But by, I think it was like half past nine or, or 20 to 10 or something, it was actually already full. But then again, it was um, the participants of the... the um, panel with like Anna Smith, Cameron Johnston, Joe Abercrombie, RF Kwang and uh, the moderator Robert Corvus. Um, and they all write in uh, Grimdark and um, it was a really good panel. It was so much fun. Um, lots of humor and it's like they started with like all these uh, it's a grimdark panel. Why are you here in the morning? Uh, but yeah, it was really good, and I had a, had a really enjoyed that. Uh, rest of the day was mostly socializing, I think, which is always good. And then the last day, I started uh, the day by going to uh, signings, uh, and I got my book signed by uh, Peter O'Gillian. Which is kind of fun, because uh, he's a friend of ours, and I know him from Easter Con, uh, the, my very first Easter Con. Um, so he signed my book, um, and called me in his book, uh, he calls me like curry buddy, because we kind of got each other to know each other over, <laughs> uh, uh, over a, a really good, a decent uh, plate of curry in a fairly crap hotel, as he put it. So that was fun. Uh, and then I went to a reading by Jeanette Ing, who also actually got uh, um, the prize for Best New Writer. Um, and then another reading later in the day with Emma Newman, who is a really great reader. So two really good readers. And I also got my book signed by uh, Jeanette Ing. So that was basically what I did, and being socialized. Um, so I could probably talk about like things that went wrong and things that were good, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people will do that. Um, I followed the Hugo num uh, Hugos. I pretty much followed most of it on on um, Twitter. I tried to watch it uh, in the bar. In Martins, um, on, <coughs> excuse me, uh, on the big screen, but with subtitles because there was like no sound, but that really didn't work for me. So I decided to go up uh, outside um, into another room and uh, and just follow it on Twitter and spend some time with friends rather than trying to watch it on a big screen that didn't really work. So I must say that I had a really good time at WebCon. Uh, I'm not saying it was perfect, uh, though uh, you have to kind of keep in mind that this is run by volunteers, they are not paid for it. Uh, a lot of them probably has not ever done ever anything like it before. Um, so there will be hiccups, especially with like it's being such a huge venue and... But I think they did as they try their best, I think. Uh, I try to be positive. Uh, it's in my nature, I guess. Um, and yeah. So, all in all, I, th I had a really good time. I got to meet friends and see some good panels and good talks and stuff. And that was really good. Uh, and yeah, uh, I think that's all I want to say about Worldcon. Uh, did you go to Worldcon? Did you? What did you see? Did you meet friends? Did you get new friends? Oh yeah, uh, that is also something that I really thought was awesome. Was I got to see an Instagram friend that I'd never met before, a fantasy guy on Instagram. Uh, uh, we followed each other on Instagram for a while, and also I got to meet uh, Twitter friends that I've I've been following for a long time but never met before and that is just so great that you have all these people from around the world and you actually get to meet them face by face to face at least I really enjoy that 
So, I guess that's it for now. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up thing. Uh, but no hatred, please. Um, we need we need kindness and and uh, all all that kind of stuff in this world, right? So yeah, be positive. That's all I'm going to say. Um, so that's it for now. Bye.